Uh, let's discuss one larger theme. One of the biggest announcements of the new government has been the Jan Dhan Yojana. Is the Jan Dhan Yojana or the financial inclusion plan a likely drain on the banking system? That's the question we are asking. Uh, our uh, ex, uh, our uh, guests are two stalwarts. Dr. Casey Chakraborty, former Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank of India, and importantly, former Chairman and Managing Director of uh, Punjab National Bank and many other banks. As well, we will be joined in a bit by Mr. Devakar Gupta, former MD and CFO of SBI. Uh, good morning, Dr. Chakraborty. Uh, well, uh, more wearing your hat as uh, uh, a former Chairman of uh, PNB, what does it cost to start uh, uh, an uh, account uh, in such a far-flung place in unbanked villages and uh, therefore seven crore new accounts or seven and a half crore new accounts, what might it mean in terms of cost to the banking system? You see, look, costing and pricing is most non-transparent in the banking services. In fact, this is one of the basic lacuna. So, it is very difficult to find out per account cost because banks are themselves not able to tell that. But let me say that people are uh, putting a lot of overemphasis on the cost and difficulty in terms of the cost angle. Now let me give some broad examples. We require about the 5 lakh BCs and BC will be the main cost mm. of the entire operation. Mm. Now if we require 5 lakh BC, nobody is saying that BC should be paid more than 5,000. I take 10,000 rupees per month. Okay. This, makes, uh, this makes about 500 crore rupees per month mm. or 6,000 crore rupees per year. Mm. Now I add another cost, another 6,000 for all other type of costs which is necessary to back up technology infrastructure. Mm. Now we are talking of 12,000 12, crores. You add another 6,000 crore, 18,000 crore. Now if you say for giving the banking facility to the 50% of the population, the country cannot spend 20,000 crore, I think then we are talking something which is not proper. Now what is the total cost of the banks? Mm. Now banks are spending every year, I am talking of operating cost of the bank is about 2 trillion rupees. Last year on the, uh, the scheduled commercial bank's operating cost was uh, about 1.5657 billion. That is 2013. Last year mm. it must have been 1.8 trillion rupees. Okay. And this year it will be definitely including RRB cross the 2 trillion. Mm. Now for providing the banking facility to 50% population, we are ready to spend 2 trillion rupees mm. and we are not ready to spend 20,000 crores of rupees. Only 10% of that for providing banking facility to another 50% no. population. Well, well, it is ridiculous. Dr. Chakrabarty, Dr. Dr. Chakrabarty uh, the, uh, the ideological point is that uh, banks are commercial op, uh, institutions and there are minority shareholders also which own them. Uh, this is a public service, uh, what you are talking about, the remaining 50%. My point uh, is... I when, am only no, no, talking no. cost still My point is, I have not said. You will look, it, no, no, we will are it, all saying that... Will, today, is this... So, 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 the question is... The question is, will they make money on these 18,000 crores or are they likely to lose a goodish bit? Absolutely. You see, if they are able to spend 2 trillion rupees on the providing banking facility to remaining 50% and they are making money, why they will not make money here? But, uh, you know, it, it's... Uh, the issue is okay, that you I'm see, I'm look, playing, I'm playing... Initially, there may be some, it may be investment. We don't consider this as expensive. Okay. But no, let me come I'll to tell you why, issue. I'll tell we you why I'm asking this question. We have 50,000 crore. Dr. We have fertilizer subsidy. We have food subsidy. We have government pension. Mm. We have various other benefits. Nanda used to say about 3 lakh, 4 lakh crore will be the subsidy transfer. Mm. Now, we, if we can save 10% money on that, Entire cost of operation can be recovered and banks can make money. Reserve Bank has never said that banks should do this job as a charity. In fact, we have always emphasized bank must do this job as a sustainable and viable business. And to, up till now, nobody has been able to provide me the data and saying that this operation is unviable. Okay. okay. Well, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Dr. Chakrabarty, good morning. I just had a couple of uh, questions I needed on, some clarity on. Um, is it clear on who will actually foot the bill for the insurance premium that will have to be paid and also, uh, you know, other costs that uh, will, will be needed to keep the bank account running? Will, uh, will that pressure also come in on the banking system itself? You see, there are three things. 
either bank will have income, they will spend some money. Banks are not only for income, they will spend money or borrower will pay. You see, this is how it is a ridiculous idea that poor does not pay. In fact, for the same quality of product and service, poor has to pay higher price anywhere in the world, so either poor or government will be here, if the government wants to subsidize. I think the cost is to be shared by all the three. Now, in what proportion, you have to work out a model, but you will be not able to work out this model unless you work out the cost. Now, another area is ridiculous. They say per account cost. Now, per account cost is one thing, and when I have one lakh account, the cost will be something different. If I have 100 uh, lakhs account, then my cost will be different. It is the issue of technology. Mm. Now, today technology is there. As we have scale up, how the power account cost will not go down? At least I am not able to understand, but this does not happen in the banking. Okay. Because in the banking, cost and return both are very, very opaque. We have no idea. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> we are trying to get the banker to give us some idea of the cost. Uh, uh, apparently, SBI did a costing some time back. Uh, but, uh, Dr. Chakrabarti, you know, <clears throat> during your time also, uh, both as governor and as chairman, banks uh, have tried very hard to open uh, no-fills accounts and other kinds of accounts for the unbanked. But uh, the, their constant complaint was nothing got done. I mean, you opened the account, but nobody ever used it because they didn't have excess money to deposit there or uh, to use it for any other purposes. The, uh, you are expecting that if the government's payments for, uh, you know, NREGS and pensions are made through this account, then these accounts will be active. Much will depend on the speed with which the government moves, isn't it? Otherwise, you may still have 7 crore accounts lying idle. Yeah, Lata, one thing is that you are ill informed, saying that nothing has happened. Let me tell one thing. If nothing would have happened, Prime Minister would not have the courage to declare on that independent speech that will provide banking services to everybody. I think much of the work has been done for the last five years, and we have added 18, lakh new, 18 crore new accounts. Not only that, number of transactions has gone up. Earlier it used to be 25,000 per month. Today it is more than 2,50,000 per month. Now, issue is that nothing has happened is not the case because something has happened this has given confidence to the country that we must provide banking service to everybody now if something has not happened because we have not fixed the accountability bank board bank senior management have not been made accountable for not doing that thing but i will say banks have done their best at least some of the banks and it is not that nothing has happened to the banking connectivity has been given to more than three lakh villages. If you see the number of overdraft accounts, number of Kisan credit cards, number of GCCs, number of transactions, everywhere there has been tremendous progress. And that has only given this confidence to the nation that we can provide banking connectivity to everybody. So what I will say, where a lot of work has remained to be done, but don't say that nothing has happened in the last four years. Okay. Uh, sir, just one more question. Uh, do you think the opening of these accounts, you know, 150 million accounts with an overdraft facility of, uh, I think, 5,000 rupees for each of them under this scheme, do you think it will add to um, the pressure on the asset qualities of the, many of the banks or that's not a problem that we should be worrying about at this point? You see, look, if we say that 5,000 rupees has to be given, first thing, 5,000 is a overdraft. That means mm. it is access to emergency credit. You see, look, in a civilized society, in a developed society, if you don't have a credit card, you cannot give an entry even in a hotel. Now, 5,000 is an overdraft, but he may require only 100 rupees. Mm. It is access to credit and it is also to be tried over a period of time. You need not give the 5,000 together. And second thing, it is a credit. So I don't think the burden will be that much if it is utilized in a proper way. But if you say, because 5,000 crore overdraft, one day all branch managers across the country <laughs> will disburse 5,000 rupees to everybody. We must understand what is the meaning of a overdraft facility. Yeah. It is access to emergency credit. It is much for the poor. And that will only make him to come to the bank branch again and again. Mm. Now, I can give you one example. If somebody is getting NRE wages, now if he gets NRE wages at the end of 15 days, 
Now, he, all of a sudden, if he is not having money with him at the end of the 10 day, why he cannot be given a small overdraft of 200, 500 rupees? <coughs> because his wage is to come back yeah. within 15 days. Now, that is the meaning of the overdraft. Okay. And let me say, if the banking system is under stress, it is not a, because of servicing the poor. It mm. is because 2 lakh 50,000 crores money has been written off of the big people. Mm. Now, we are not at all hesitant in sacrificing any amount in servicing the rich. But we are very hesitant in spending any amount, in making any expenses when the question of providing banking service to poor comes. All right. Well, Dr. Chakravarti, that was a very spirited defense. Thank you very much for joining us. I believe you have a flight to catch. Thank you for joining us. Well, uh, uh, actually, that point is more important, that it's only an overdraft, yeah. and they will study the behavior of accounts, uh, see how much of NREGS and other transfers come in, and only then give that overdraft. Even mm -hmm. then, it's an upper limit of 5,000. And incidentally, that insurance money is also not being paid by banks at all. It is being okay. paid by the, the National Royal? Payments Corporation. Oh, the National. Uh, the okay. guys who are giving the rupee card. Okay. So, uh, you know, it is from those... Every transaction in the rupee card gives them a little money. From that kitty, they are planning to. So, in run sense, the there won't be much stress it's on the banking stress. system. Okay. The way it is designed, yeah. it's yeah. at the moment not looking like a stress, except the account op opening and the account maintenance mm. uh, stress, uh, if any. And on that issue, Devakar Gupta, former MD and CFO of SBI, joins in. Uh, Mr. Gupta, uh, thank you for making it. Uh, I, gu I guess uh, against the elements. Uh, you, have you done the costing, sir? Uh, 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 Dr. Trivati was saying that uh, uh, he doesn't have a number for the per unit cost because transaction costs are opaque in the uh, banking system. Have you any costing as to what it will mean to open an account and maintain it? Lata, it's very difficult to say what the costing is because models keep changing. When we initially did this costing in 2010, that is when the first wave of financial inclusion uh, was really kicked off in right earnest. Uh, our costing was coming to somewhere around 120, 130 rupees per account per year. Now, you know, since then IT costs have fallen and we have also recognized the fact that we have to do more and more intermediation through business correspondence and other alternate channels. And therefore, this cost should be less. But my guess would be that the all-in cost for maintaining an account would be somewhere around 80 to 100 rupees per annum. Oh. Okay. So, in that case, uh, what has been your most recent experience with no-frill accounts and uh, uh, first-time banking accounts, the unbanked becoming banked? Uh, do banks uh, get any business out of it? Uh, has there been enough of government payments coming through? Uh, in these un, uh, first time banking accounts uh, for it to be financially viable? So on the face of it, the numbers are quite uh, self-evident. I think in the four years that we have been pursuing financial inclusion, we today have about nine crore accounts. Mm. We have about 25 crore transactions across these accounts in a year. Now that is a very paltry three transactions per account per year. Mm. We also have a corpus of about 1,800 crores in these accounts, from what reports suggest, and that's an average balance of uh, 200 rupees per account. Okay. Uh, the number of alternate touch points for these is 2.5 lakhs, which means that each touch point is doing about 1,000 transactions in a year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while the numbers are good, we shouldn't, I agree with Dr. Chakravarti that we should not say nothing has been done. Mm -hmm. uh, I think from a zero to reach to nine crore accounts in these numbers is itself quite an achievement. But as far as the end result is concerned, there is a huge, huge way to go. And uh, this can be sustained only if we have a viable, self-sustainable economic model going forward. Mm. Subventions, subsidies, they can be fine to kickstart. But until there is money in it on a sustained basis for all players, obviously it will remain directed. It will be done because there is a push and it will falter. Okay. So, 100 rupees per account and 7 crore new accounts to be opened, uh, or 7.5 crore. So, 750 uh, crore is what the entire banking system will pay just to maintain the account, assuming you are not making any money on it. I, I, I agree. Okay. Now, this does not include cost of every transaction. We will presume that on transactions, certain costs will be recovered per transaction and they will be split. But yes, to be on the IT system, to have all the checks and controls, to be able to do the, uh, you know, uh, over overhead costs for uh, various tiers of management, that cost would be 80 to 100 rupees. All right, uh, Mr. Gupta, uh, we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh